Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. It's so fun to hang out with all of you. I'm gonna paint this sweet cow. I'll link the reference photo in this video's description. It's on Unsplash, isn't that fun? I have a traceable on my website, AnnieTro.com. If you wanna use that, this traceable has a lot of detail. You don't have to put in all that detail or just use the reference photo as a traceable. I'm gonna paint my uh, cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've already got the word love on there in chalk pastel. Uh, it's 10 by 10 inches, an inch and a half thick. I'm gonna paint it with a combination of yellow oxide and titanium white. All my paints are Liquitex, I really like them. Just to get some color down and get going. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's set the table. I haven't done that yet. So I painted the background with a two inch brush and the white and yellow oxide. You can see I've got kind of a lighter area here and then I got darker down here. Um, I actually think that might work kind of nice because I think I might get a little, it, it's overthinking it, but you know, I might call a little bit more attention to the eyes. I have a little bit of the sky showing through. Can you see that that's a little more yellow? there. Um, I have some of that yellow yellow oxide poking through in parts of the grass. Here, let me need to... I, I forgot. First I uh, put some clear gesso on my canvas panel. Oh, a couple days ago. Forgot. Need to start a little further back. So the colors I'm using, I put the yellow oxide from my other palette when I painted the background onto here. This is Cad Yellow Medium Hue. Oh, it's got paint on it. <laughs> um, this is Thalo Blue Green Shade. Can you see that? It says it's completely, or not completely, but it says it's transparent because the box is open. Um, I like that. That's Mars Black. They're all Liquitex. A lot of more basics. I started buying more basics during the pandemic because it's what I could find. So my sky is a little Mars black, some phthalo blue, and some white to mute the sky color down. You can use phthalo blue and white, but that's sort of a muted blue. And then for the green, I pulled my sky color over, added some yellow, and made a green. I put both the uh, yellow oxide and the yellow in there just because I have them. You could just put yellow in there. And then I pulled some of that out and put even more yellows in there for a yellow or green. And then I'm used a, I really like this brush. It is from Royal and Langnickel. It is a three quarter inch. It holds a lot of paint, but you can also get it down to a thin point. I don't know if you, I'm to the side of my phone, so I don't know if you can see that. Or it can kind of chub up and hold quite a bit of paint. I don't know if you can, don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, what else? Oh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna put out quinacridone magenta. I'm gonna need some pink for the nose. Um, what else? Oh, and I'm gonna to wanna to put some, I think I'm gonna to wanna to put some purples over here, purple and black, they'll be quite dark. And then blues and black. Uh, I'll link the video when I painted this a year and a half. Oh, I paint, did I say that? I don't know if I said that or not yet. This is a day or two later. Um, I painted this once before. Here, I'll show you the thumbnail but I forgot to photograph it. I painted it on a 16 by 16 inch piece of wood. So I'm painting it similar again, 
but I had painted the wood with kind of a um, unbleached titanium color. So this one's going to be warmer. And I don't know if I use the exact same colors. So this one will be a little different. And I'm thinking I'm going to put less details in it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So anyway, I'm going to need some quinacridone and magenta to make purples with my phthalo blue green shade. And then um, that's about it. Oh, and then pink on the nose, which I already said. Okay, I think that sets the table. I'm gonna work on the eyes, get that in, and probably the nose. And I'll be back in a bit, I'm kind of thinking. Yeah, I think, I think I got everything. Oh, I did put a little darker tree line up there. I don't think I, I mentioned, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know, would it, maybe it'd help too if I showed you a little closer. Oh yeah, there you can see that some of the yellow coming through. I like that. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. stop and chat for a second I am um, I like to work on the eyes and get them about this close they're not done but they're you know I painted in some pink shapes I painted in the little there's a little a lot of times on a cow there's like a little curve it depends on the photo reference almost like a saggy lower lid that you can see which is really fun but I started out with a yellow background and then I put some orange in just so I can build up layers and slowly darken the eyes. And then I've put some blue in, um, sort of the low light before I, I'll put the highlight in. I'm not gonna put the highlight in yet. I'm gonna get more of my cow done. But I thought if I stopped and just talked about how I'm painting, I'm painting little shapes. So there's this pink, here, let's grab the reference photo. There's this piece of pink skin. Let's see if I can get this in here. My phone's like eight inches from my painting. That probably looks really scary. I didn't paint this piece of skin right there. I just painted, hopefully this is that one right there. I left that one out just cause I like to see more of the eye. I don't, no one, I've done it before. Nobody ever notices when I do that with a cow eye. I think that's kind of funny. But here you could kind of see, it's hard to see in this reference photo, um, but there's almost like a little, I don't know what to call that because it's hard to see with the black, but uh, the lower lid, there we go. So this isn't the best reference photo if you're a beginner, but I painted enough cows, I know how that eye looks. Um, and then before I put the highlight on, I've got the blue here. Here, maybe we can get it closer if we can. So hopefully that helps. So basically it's like when I painted clouds in my cloud video, um, as I'm videoing this, it's by far the most popular video I have on YouTube. I'll link it in this video's description. I basically sneak up on the values and the color. And then it just looks black. You could just paint it black. It looks black in the reference photo. And then I came with a little blue and just, you know, squiggled in a little blue to tone that pink down. Um, that's about all I'm doing here. Maybe you must see this eye too. I didn't video that one as much. But I think I'm going to work on the nose next. And when I had some pink in my brush, I put some pink in just for fun. Oh, and I'm not so worried about the color. That's kind of a greenish bluish. Um, I can come back and soften it later. The light's pretty much coming from the top. Okay, guys, hopefully some of those comments help. I'll be back in a bit.
Hey friends, I'm going to stop for tonight. I think I've been working on this for about four hours, if that helps. Um, the eyes and the nose always take me longer. Like this area goes quicker. It's not done, but it does. I don't worry about the detail as much. I've got, well, I've been saying my sun's coming up from the top here, but I might do warmer on this side and cooler on this side. I think I did that on the other one. And I'm, I did use a little bit of white just to see how light I can go. That's pretty much as light as I can go. This could go a little lighter. But I don't want to use white yet. Um, what else? Oh, I've been using flat brushes. So I've been using, like for the eye, I use this number six uh, round from Princeton. Can you see that? I can't, I'm right to the left of my phone. I can see my hand. <laughs> I really like the, these and um, if you get it thin, you can get a really, or if you get your paint thin, you can get a really fine point on it, which is fun. And it'll hold more paint because there's more bristles there. And then I was using a three eight inch craft brush from Michaels. It says number 10 craft smart on there. It's a little bigger than a quarter inch. And then I've also been using like for down here. So I use a quarter inch kind of on the chin. Um, this is a half inch flat from Royal and Langnickel. Says 13 millimeters on it. Um, I like them all. What else? Oh, I'm just painting. Is, I feel like it's a lot like a puzzle. So I like, I paint the inside of the nostril shape. I paint that's kind of a triangle shape up here. You know, there's a darker spot or darker pink on this part of the nose. And I just play with it. I've got blue spots and blue gray spots and some black and some straight up phthalo blue. I'm just kind of playing with it because um, the value is more important than the color. I might come back and refine it. It's kind of like the eyes. They're close to done, but it might need to go lighter, darker, all those kinds of things. I don't really want to paint. I want to paint this cow cleaner. It's, I don't know if it's dirty. Oops. Or, yeah, I think that's just dirt. So I don't, you know, we'll see where we're, how we go. Although I think it might have some dark hair. I was going to say fur. Cows have hair underneath the chin there. And I'm just painting, like I kind of painted in that and then I painted in some of the darks and I come back and paint some of that lighter fur. Put some pink in there. Just get some paint down. So it's like a puzzle. You know, I kind of find this shape and it, can, it needs refining. So it's a little bit different than a puzzle where I can reshape it a little bit. But I'm gonna quit for tonight. And like, I think this needs to be darker right here. Anyway, it's starting to come together. I kind of like, oh, so I mixed a color um, that I wanted sort of as the undercolor for the white. And it's not a um, yellow oxide, it's actually lighter, but it barely shows when I paint onto the yellow oxide of the cow. So I thought that was kind of funny. I think that's about it. Once I get the, at least the first layer of the head and the ears in, I will do the body so then I can come back over and put some hairs coming over. And then for me, the fun part is there's like little whiskers you can put in. Oh, and another thing that's really fun I like about cows is they have, so let's see if I can do this so you can understand it. So they, like it, their nose comes like straight from about right here, comes straight down and then it goes in. There's a pretty decent sized curve and I think that's really fun. Like they have like like an overbite, like a big overbite. I like their droopy cheeks. I think that's really fun too. Okay, hopefully some of those comments help. I'll be back tomorrow.
Hey, let's chat. I had some fix it people here, which was a little distracting. Hopefully I caught a um, good progress video. I'll know when I edit this. So what I'm doing is I, I put in some of the, oh, the shapes and the lines I see, and then I put them, take them out. And then I put, brought some of the bluish green over a little more, kind of playing with where cool is and where warm is. Um, I put a little more blue and darker down here and I'm painting a dirty face cause that's what I see. Um, but I don't really want to, I didn't want to do that. So I think what I'll end up probably doing, and I do this a lot when I paint fur, I'll put in details and I'll come back and smooth it all out. Um, this looks quite yellow, but on my palette, it looks more, um, like unbleached titanium, like a cooler version of unbleached titanium. But color is relative. It depends on what it's what what's around it. But it's coming together. When I look in my phone, it looks pretty good. I definitely need some whites to bring like the, the nose up, maybe the side of the face up. But I think next, I was kind of waiting for them to go. I'm going to paint the purple. So I, I mixed quinacridone and the thalo blue green shade and even though it says, you know, it has green shade in the title, it makes a, here, I'll show you. You can see a little better if I add some white. It makes a really pretty purple. And if you want it more red, add more magenta, more blue, add more blue. But I'm going to take, my paints are drying out quick today. It's summertime, so I have fans running. And I'm just going to streak in, well, that's really thin. So one thing that's a little odd is I haven't figured out, so this is a little too big for me to video top down on my art table. So I have this tabletop easel on my art table, but then I am off to the, this is center, but I am like, oh, my shoulder kind of lines up with here. So I'm off to the right. So it's a little weird. Sometimes I'll stop the video just so I can get in front of it and paint it. I don't recommend painting off to the side, <laughs> but I think it's so fun to hang out with you guys. I'm just explaining why, I don't know. I assume it looks funny why sometimes I'm coming in so at such an angle on the right. That's the whole point of that comment. So in the other one, I think I painted blue here and purple over here, but to me, it makes sense to have the purples a little more warm of a color over on this side. I can use a bigger brush. So just trying to be random. Now I'll come in with some black or some brown too to fill that in. I, it's a lot like a puzzle. Um, if you if you don't think about you know all the different colors, I think I already talked about this. I'm. I know I did. I, you know, I put in, there's a swirl here, you know, it's between the eyes, but the center of it is actually pretty close to the top of the eyes, you know, so I line things up or I find the pieces and then I just keep adding more detail. Okay. I just wanted to pop in cause I felt like it's been quite a while. Oh, you know, it could be kind of fun. It's not in the reference photo, but we could put like a little purple in there. <laughs> I've got a little purple up here. Can reinforce that a little bit. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Just a couple of thoughts. So I Put some blue. I had this fairly light. It looked white once I got all this really dark color in here. So I made that blue. I have darkened this on because I'm thinking my sun. Now I'm making my sun kind of come almost from up over there a little bit. I haven't I need to put some whites on or almost whites on and see. Um, warmer over here. I think this is really pretty. A little bit of the background showing through. I also glazed some yellow over it. And then I put some, just a hint of lighter purple highlights. Here, maybe we need to 
do a little tour. I'm wondering if it's too colorful. Although this is nice. It's like some reflective light, but it's cool. And I think I'll put some white white over here or some yellow white maybe. I haven't put the highlight. I need a highlight in this eye. I don't think I'll put one in that eye. But the, the pink I think helps. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just playing with colors and values. I could get in trouble messing with the light. When in doubt, always the reference photo is really helpful. Usually. This reference photo, the lighting is kind of funny on it. The ears are pretty close to done. I just really need to add some whites and things. Well, and then it's, as I mentioned, it's really fun to put in like little hairs that come out. That'll really make it fun. It's getting there. I need to work on the face. And I like that this doesn't have a lot of detail. It makes the face come forward. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, what do you think? <laughs> I I really like this purple, but it just felt too strong to me. So I put some of it right here. Um, I'm really seem to be focused on the cool glow light coming up this way. Oh, I've got paint on my fingers. I smear with my fingers. And I've also got sort of a warm glow coming up this way. And I put in some yellow, took out some yellow, just to warm it up some over here. My favorite part's always the little hairs. I just love that. Let me know if it's too much color. And I really like the, I took a, let's see, a quarter inch flat brush. Oh, this is from Royal and Langnickel. I don't, the writing has worn off a long time ago, um, but it's a quarter inch. And I just, you know, dipped the corner in paint and smushed. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I know the yellow is transparent. So I can just put on more layers and vary the color just to make it interesting. Put in some little hints of blue just for, to make it interesting. I'm not gonna put the flower in the mouth like I showed you in the thumbnail. You could. Um, as I mentioned before, I'll link, when I painted this the first time, I'll, I'll link that video in this this video's description. I put some blue back in up here. Put some purple in there too, just to help. It was so strong right there. <laughs> you can tell I'm still evaluating it. Oh, and I have fans running and my studio gets warm. It's summertime here. My paints are really drying out. My messy palette. Okay, let's give you a little tour. What else did I do? I don't know, I kept, I kinda, just kinda played with smoothing it out some. Here, let's give you a tour. Oh, I painted the side too. Isn't that fun? <clears throat> Sorry guys, I haven't talked much today. I'm losing my voice. I was thinking about, <clears throat> sorry, coming right back, see if I can get my voice to clear up. Okay. 
I'm gonna move my palette. Okay, let's start at the top. Here, let's get really close. We'll do an ear and an eye. And the ear goes over, oh gosh, that's close, onto the side. <laughs> See that it'll focus. Might be too close. Color shifts a little bit. My phone keeps trying to correct the color. I just love cow noses. Can you tell? <laughs> I just think they're fun. Mouths. There's all those little hairs. I didn't put in as many as I can see in the reference photo, but it's just, I just think that's so much fun. Let me know if you think this is too bright. I'll back up here in a second. So cool, cooler colors, meaning blues, purples, blacks, you can see browns too on the shadow side, warmer colors on the sun side. And I did paint just a hint on the bottom. All right, let's back up again. And then keep in mind, I don't even when I get it that close, it still might smooth it out a little bit. Well, let me know what you think. I like this. It's in the reference photo. I lightened the reference photo. Oh, I'm getting a lot of glare so I could see it. There's quite a bit of underglow. I definitely pumped up the colors, which I do. Let me know if you like the purples and the, I don't know, that, that has just a hint of the, under, of the yellow oxide coming through. And I glazed it with some yellow and some orange. Okay, guys, I can't think of anything else. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Let me know. Uh, what else? I'll link a couple other videos in this video description to cow. I have a couple other cow traceables. I super appreciate your support. I couldn't do this without all of you guys. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.